So when I started PT, I want to thank Jen. She was there through both of my surgeries in PT. Uh, she helped me out. She encouraged me. She pushed me. She pushed me to work hard so I can get out of the hospital. <laughs> because if not for, you know, being passed in PT, I'd still be in the hospital. Or they would put me to, um, to other PT areas. And so thanks to her, I was able to go home. So the first, the first night that I was there, uh, I wanted to, I had decided that I wanted to make this kind of video. It took me forever to make because these videos and pictures were on an old phone that I thought I wouldn't be able to get these pictures and photos from. I mean, these pictures and videos from, but uh, I was somehow able to get them. My goal was to talk to anybody who is going to be, who is in my situation who thinks that they shouldn't get the amputation and who thinks that they uh that it is difficult it is difficult but if you push yourself to do it you can make it and you can do it and you will be perfectly fine i'm still sort of learning how to walk i'll show you how it is some people some people don't have the opportunity and the chance to get a prosthetic leg but if you are fortunate enough to get a prosthetic then you, I suggest you get the amputation if it is willing to save your life. Because honestly, it is worth it. And I don't regret getting the amputation at all. Because now I'm here with my daughter and my wife and my family. And I'm still alive and I'm still going strong. If not for my amputation, I would have gone through so much more worse. And I wouldn't have been able to do... Uh, quite frankly most of the stuff that I do now I'm able to walk a bit better now without crutches it took me a while but honestly it is worth it and I'm still here now and that's all that really matters you don't you don't really need your leg to live through things and I know for the people who skate and do things like that honestly I've been going hiking lately and just so I can manage to walk better with my prosthetic. And I've been able to do it. Uh, tomorrow I'm going hiking and I'm going to make a video on that tomorrow too. And I'm going to post it on here. And uh, this this is basically to help motivate you to know that you can do it. This is to motivate you so you can know that you can do it. Even if people think you shouldn't do it. I say go for it. And I know a lot of people in the comments are probably going to be like, no, don't do it. You probably could have had diff different options. Yeah, yeah, I did have different options. But if I went through those different options a second time, I should have went for it the first time. But I wanted my leg. I wanted to go through it. But now that this had happened and they told me it's just best to do it, I did it. Just go for that first one, honestly, because I know how hard it is not to have a leg. But if you can do it, go for it, honestly. Push yourself harder and make sure you know somebody who can help you. My wife was my motivation and my daughter was my motivation. To live was my motivation. And that's why I got my amputation. That's why I pushed myself in the hospital with PT. And that's why I'm still here making videos. And that's why I'm here to tell you guys that it will be okay. So... I went through Pete. Let's talk about these videos. You are going to see everything that had happened. And hopefully when you go, hopefully when you go through your surgery, your PT instructor is helpful and she is, and she or he is super nice to you because Jen was super helpful to me. And that's all that helped me really keep going and move forward with it. Okay. By the way, just so you know, this little thing right here, my wife bought it for me. We named it Pastulio. Why did we name it Pastulio? If you know Invader Zim, he had like a pimple on his face and he named it Pastulio. Pastulio, it was a walrus and it was like a fat little ball. So we, I thought it looked like Pastulio. So I just named it Pastulio. I slept with that thing all the time just because my wife. I missed being at home with her and she bought it for me and it was just there for me. <laughs> Do you think you can start inching your butt backwards? Uh, with the bed like this? 
By the way, also, thank you, Jan, for recording all these videos. Um, like I said, the, the first day, I decided that I wanted to start making videos and to do this to inspire you guys. Just in case, if you do have an amputation, to say, don't worry about it. Things will get better. Just push yourself and have something that motivates you. Whether if it's just to get better, whether if it's just to live, whether if it's anything, you will make it. Okay, I can bring the bed flat. Oh, you did it. It's hard because I'm like, I can't bend this leg anymore. I know, yeah. That you can't right now because they want that knee brace on. But if I bring the bed down flatter, you might be able to scoot your butt back a little bit more. Good. You did it. One more time. Perfect. She had helped me out a lot and it really helped me with everything. And she, like I said, she recorded all of my videos that I had, the, all these videos for me. She didn't have to, but she did it for me because she knew what I was doing and she wanted me to do this too. Well, she didn't, she didn't want me to. I decided to do it and I talked to her about it and she thought it was a great idea and obvious and honestly I wanted to do this for a long time. This video was supposed to be made around August but uh, again my phone had messed up and I thought I lost all the videos and all the footage that I had recorded and all the pictures that I had taken but I was somehow able to get them and that's why I'm making this video because I want you guys to see this this was my first time pushing my leg up this was super painful but again i just really wanted to get through with it good good as much as you can robert and then back down good can you give me five more of those can you tell you're lifting it That's two. Try to do three more if you can. Good. Remember, keep breathing. By the way, I'm a hairy mess because, again, I was only in the hospital. I was only home for like three days. <laughs> That's why I'm so fucking hairy. <laughs> then, nice, slow, deep breaths. Good. So take a deep breath in. Uh, this is my first time standing. Uh, standing up the first time with uh, an amputated leg was probably the most painful thing I went through. Uh, lifting my leg was painful, but um, standing up was 10 times worse. And I, even with nerve blockers, it hurt like hell. So you're leaning towards the side? Is that, is that too hard? So if you don't know, if you never went through anything like PT or anything like that, they put the band around me so that way they can help lift me up. Uh, they basically picked me up more than I picked myself up. Where is it burning? My right side. Like, where the incisions are? You're doing great. No, yeah. I'm good now. I think it was just because it was numb. Okay. Good job. I think it was just because I was numb. Okay. Feels better now? Good. Oh. Awesome. Any dizziness, headache? No. No? Good job. Yeah, the first time standing up, it was, again, very painful. Oh, yeah, that was Right, yeah, that's all I'm talking about. So we don't have, we don't know. So, <laughs> she was my, one of my favorite nurses. She, <laughs> we would have little sass competitions, honestly. Like, but like, she was, she was very fun. Like, she wasn't super serious and she made sure to take care of everything. She helped me out so much. Um, I remember my wife had brought me food and it was kind of like a little chilly. Uh, like it was a little cold and I asked I didn't even know that they couldn't do this I didn't know but uh, it just happened uh, I asked her if she could microwave it for me and she did it for me and uh, thank you so much for that it helped like 10 times but um, yeah small things you really do appreciate that anyone would do for you um, 
this is after they took me off of nerve blockers. I had pushed myself even harder once I got off of the nerve blockers. Jen wanted to see how I would do going up some stairs. Please don't kill me. I've been too nice to you, bud. Oh, why I said please don't kill me is because it made a weird ass noise. So we don't have, we don't know. There. <laughs> please don't kill me. I've been too nice to you, bud. Too much problem, Robert. Oh, not man. really. Not really. <laughs> That's right. It's not a problem. We need to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> Just looking at it and how much progress I've made is just insane. Because here I am just hopping on one thing and now I have a prosthetic and I'm moving more better. I'm going hiking and I'm doing so much. I'm trying to lose weight too. Like you can see in these videos that I was kind of bigger back here than I was now. I'm just trying to lose weight now. And so that way I can do more. So if you can just turn that way, just because of the ivy pole. Am I covered from my back? You will be. Your battery power is only 15% here. You will be. Ow. I'm going to come in the front, okay? I remember my nurse, she would get mad every time I do PT. I remember every time uh, I would do PT, my nurse... Can you shut up? I remember every time I would do PT, my nurse would get mad because I would use my crutch and I had a... Um, the injection, I forgot what they're called, the IV on my hand and the blood would just like start dripping out of my IV because of the pressure that I would put with the crutches. So she would get mad. And then sometimes she would have to take it out and then put another one. And I'm just like, I hate hand IVs. They hurt the worst. Okay, hold on. What else are we going to do? What does you want to do? What do you want to do? I don't know. Up to you. You want to walk a little bit? Sure. Okay, hold on. So... My walking experience. Uh, at first, I wasn't able to get far. Uh, at first, I wasn't able to get far. And eventually, um, I just started getting more and more used to it. And eventually, I walked uh, the whole way around the room. Like, you'll see in this video, I went all the way around the whole room and came back to my room. And uh, it was just good to, pro to gain progress every time. Uh, I would do PT and it just helped me out so so much like motivationally emotionally knowing that I can do something helped me out physically emotionally and mentally honestly being in the hospital for two three months that was just a life drainer man and um just things kept going but going through PT was like probably my most uh happiest thing besides my wife visiting me that's the one thing too i had a very strong wife to to have gone to the hospital every single day to visit me every day pregnant morning sickness bringing me food from the outside she was doing that every single day just so i wouldn't break down and she helped me so much even though she broke down a couple of times she was strong for the both of us and because of her also we have an amazing daughter on our two year our first year anniversary of being married we spent it in the hospital and it sucked this year we got to, and um it was just great to be with her on our anniversary this year um you got, like i said you got to cherish the moments that you have even if they're at home or not cherish every moment you've got The 
only thing is if I put it the sideways like this, I don't get your whole body unless if I'm kind of farther away from you. Let's come down here. What do you want? But you want to see. Yeah, whatever you can, whatever you can capture. Okay, I'm going to have you stop here. So, uh, obviously. Always perfect. Then. Hmm? Always perfect. Then. Whichever way she films, she's not a professional, but she did it for me. And that I appreciate so much. Not every nurse or doctor or even PT physical, or your physical therapist would do this. But she did. Oh my God, my hair is so fucking crazy. <laughs> I look like I'm ready for a fucking uh, a performance. <laughs> not everyone would do it for you, but she did it for me. And again, thank you so much, Jen, for doing that for me. Okay. Always perfect, Jen. Mm -hmm. Always perfect, Jen. Well, because then you get the full. Yeah. But you're going to have to tell me if I'm going to run into anything. Yeah. I can't multitask. <laughs> well, you're technically. I, I guess I am. And, <laughs> and talking. And, and talking. talking. Oh, I am really multitasking. How about we go to the end of this corner and then we'll turn around? Got it. <clears throat> The one thing I hated about walking was that I had a bandage on my amputated uh, thigh. And um, the bandage always kept falling off. It kept falling off and they had to put new uh, they had to put new wrapping on it. And it just kept falling off and it turned into a hassle. And they had to change it like every like, it, like two times a day at least. It was just <laughs> annoying. I couldn't stand that. How about we go to the end of this corner and then we'll turn around? Got it. Good job. Tape. Come a long way. Oh my, what is that? Yeah. So okay, let's make a U-turn here. Oh gosh, you got out of the video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of frame. Out of frame. That's the thing about it. Like, um, I didn't, um, when I barely started, I didn't get that far. The farthest I got was like right out the door, not even out the door. It was like previous, pre before the door, but I kept going and going. And eventually again, I walked around the whole room, the whole, um, the whole lobby and I made it back to my room. It's sending you love on your way home. Say, don't, like, don't, me. don't leave me. <laughs> don't leave me. Take me with you. Was this my last day? I think this was my last day in the hospital. It was either my last day or my second to last day. Because this was my, I think it was my second to last. Because this was... Our last day doing PT before I left, I think. You come a long way. Yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it, I hope I don't get copyrighted for the background music. I think I got the biggest room out of everybody. You good? I think I got the biggest room out of everybody. You do have a big room. Are you doing this one more time? Yeah. Okay. Good job. I'm trying to skip because of, of the beeping. I don't want to annoy you guys. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, look. Make sure you go. Because of the bending of my arm. Yeah. Sorry, Lita. I told you. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> so make sure you go on your tummy at home. 
so it's dark now. You know what? That that's one thing I didn't expect. I thought the pain wasn't gonna be that bad when I go home, but I did. I forgot how souped up I was on medication and how often they would give it to me. That when I went home, the pain was ten times worse because of phantom pain. I didn't feel phantom pain in the hospital, but I felt phantom pain at home. And every time I would turn on my stomach, it would be the worst pain ever. Like, that phantom pain is, like, something else. And it still, I still have it, but it only, like, shock volts me. Uh, the next video is going to be uh, me getting measured for my prosthetic. Now, these guys have been, ha are the ones who invent, who, not invented, but made my prosthetic and shapes it and does everything for me. So you're going to see them shaping up my stub for the uh for the prosthetic then some dirty shorts <laughs> i'm gonna take off the um, the volume so you guys don't hear it it's just basically uh everything that, that i don't think they talk that much i'm not too sure then some dirty shorts <laughs> or at least i'll just mute it for until they're done with that part which i think they already are yeah, never mind. Damn, why is it so loud? But yeah, this is the measuring process of all of it. I remember having to wear a sock before uh, it getting measured. And then they had to put like this gel and like silicone. quite amazing to think about it this was march 11th two th uh, 2020 this was a year after uh, my amputation no problem. Mm -hmm. Another 20 minutes. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, standing my god i had to stand there for a long time just for all that that's all the videos and photos that i have to share <laughs> um again the goal of this video is just to tell you that you can do it even even if you are amputated just push yourself forward and you can do it um this channel now will be just of me vlogging every now and then just talking about stuff letting you guys know how everything was uh if you guys want to know anything about anything leave in the comment section below and i'll make a video on it talking about certain things and how it happened and how it went down um again stay positive Always think forward, don't think of the hard times, and just do the best that you can at whatever you can, and you will make it through. I promise you. I'm the main prior example of it. As If anything looks down, just think of the positives, and the positives will help you more than the negatives will. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, hit the like button. Actually, I don't even care. You don't even need to hit the like button. Just stay positive and move forward, please. I'll see you guys later. Bye.